Hey everyone, Retro John here, and finally, finally, I've managed to be able to get a hold of the last two remaining Masters of the Universe Origin figures from Wave 1, Man at Arms and Beastman. So after this video, I'll be recording Beastman. He should be available, um, well, tomorrow, the next the next day after this video is posted. So here we have Man at Arms, and he looks Fantastic. I can't wait to get this guy opened up. So here we have a yes uncut card that will be open. Sorry, Minton Collector fans. Um, but we do have that Masters of the Universe uh, logo, which is inspired by the vintage packaging. We do have the modern retro uh, posing play display there. Let's go ahead and take a look here. We have the figure. Uh, clearly displayed in the bubble. Of course, we have that inverted bubble right here, which is awesome. Harkens back to that uh, vintage uh, figure there with the packaging. Um, we'll turn them over to the back. <coughs> and we have this wonderful artwork right here, along with the weapons master and royal advisor, Man at Arms, assists He Man in the battle against evil. And this is just amazing artwork. I really do love these uh, artwork for these new packaging. Uh, we have a little blurb here regarding the origins line. And we have here uh, the little uh, features or what have you um, that would harken back to the original vintage uh, line that would indicate what the action features and how to work them are. And of course we have our six Wave 1 figures right here on the back of the packaging. You'll see new for 20 because this is, uh, of course... Ah, for this year's lineup. Uh, these will be, of course, beginning to be available at places like Target and other retailers next year. So, all right. We've waited long enough. Let's open up Man at Arms, the Heroic Master of Weapons. Okay, here is our Man at Arms out of the packaging. And he is really, really cool. I absolutely love him. Now, there is something to note with this particular figure, if you haven't already noticed. Um, his armor is actually separate this time around. Uh, for the simple fact that it'll hinder the it would have hindered the articulation um, if it wasn't. Uh, so you do uh, have to place these on uh, separately because, well, they come in a package um, with uh, his other accessories. And you just simply strap them on like you would the originals. Uh, these are very pliable plastic. Unfortunately, like, a, like you can see here, this just wants to slide right off. Um, so that is a little unfortunate. So you really need to find the right way to try to keep that on. Uh, other than that, I, I like that. It's, uh, it's a nice way to keep the articulation. Uh, same with down here. It's on there, you know. So they don't pop off, but this one here particularly does want to slide. Uh, his armor and his armor pieces are very pliable plastic, almost rubbery. So just something I wanted to go over real quick. Let's go ahead and go over the articulation because I am having one little issue, and apparently this isn't a this is a common issue. His head is really, really loose on that ball joint. Uh, but it can look up, down, left, and right, sideways. But yeah, it it, it it has a bobble. It's a bobble problem. So that is unfortunate. I'll need to find a way to get that uh, tightened somehow. Uh, his arms will go all the way out. There's a bend at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, bend at the wrist. We have the waist swivel. His legs will go all the way out like so. We have, we'll move up and move down, and he does have the knee bends as well as the uh, boot cut swivel, bends and swivels at the ankles, and swivel here at the knee as well. So, all in all, not too bad. I like this figure for the most part. If it wasn't for the head, I'd say he'd be a damn near perfect figure. And if it wasn't for his wrist cuff wanting to come off all the time. So I need to find a way to fix that issue. All right, he does come, other than this, with his armor, he does come with a few other accessories. Of course, he comes with that mini-comic that the first wave figures have been able to come with. And, of course, he comes with his mace, which will fit right here in his hand. 
So there we go. Um, detailing. Uh, his armor, though it is uh, vintage in style, does have quite a bit of details here. So does his armor. You'll notice they do have the bends where he would bend his elbow. So that's kind of neat. Again, I really wish this was just on a little better. Yeah. Uh, we have the cloth, the belt. So again, we have some detailing here on his shin armor. We even have some wires and things like that hanging off there. So one thing I wish they would have done with this, um, I know it's supposed to be styled after the vintage. Um, it would have been nice to have his little ray gun right here. You know? And you'll notice the big difference here with this and the vintage is he's got that mustache. Um, of course, the mustache is inspired by the Filmation figure, not the vintage figure. The vintage figure didn't have a mustache. So, and of course, we do have some detailing here on the helmet. You will notice that the red dots do not appear on the helmet like they did on the vintage figure either. And if you do want to remove it, it removes just like the original. Yeah, pretty much exactly like the original. So, there you go. So, yeah, again, other than the really loose head, this is a fantastic figure. I absolutely love it. I'm really happy to finally have him in the lineup. And uh, that just leaves us with one more figure to review. And he's coming up next. So, make sure you stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and comment down below. Let me know what you think of Man at Arms or the Masters of the Universe origin figures in general. Until next time, we don't say goodbye, we say good journey.